Hello everybody, Rainsong32 here, aka Tanya. It's been quite some time since I've shot a video. I had I was sick for several weeks, then my brand new computer, the display died, and I used my computer as a monitor for um, my video. So it's been a minute, but now I'm back and hopefully I'll be here for a while. So I'm going to show you a stash that um, it was hosted by Tamika. And it is a stash, it's called a stocking stuffing swap. And you could use anything from your stash, any theme and any collection are welcome. And it's like a one on one, but I had two partners. So I'm going to show you um, one whole um, swap and then I'll show you the other swap. I use the same things, but just different colors. So the first one is just a um, candy bar wrapper and I have a Hershey's um, candy bar that's going to fit perfectly inside of this um, and I will put that in right when I send it. This next one is the new mini bottle holder from Scrap Diva. So if you notice this swap the theme is going to be snowflakes it's kind of like a grayish blue and it's going to use like the same paper for everything. So here's the mini bottle swap. And then I thought it would be really cute to add these two penguins from KF's Crafts to it. And I'll bring it closer to the camera. So what I did on the penguins, let me put this one down for a second. For the penguins, I used the same colorway with the same paper. And the face here is a penguin face from PG Keen Stamps. And there is actually a nose for the penguin, but I didn't... I kind of liked the nose from KF's Crafts. So what I did is I stamped the face from PG Keen and then I put the nose on top. So I thought that those came out pretty cute. And what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna attach the penguin to the bottle holder. That way people could stash things inside here. So I'll put that to the side. The next one I did two bag toppers. These are from Scrap Diva Designs, the bow that came out probably in the spring or the summertime. So here's one side of the bag topper and this paper is absolutely gorgeous and I believe this is from I think Michael's and on the other side is reflective so you can open this up. Obviously it's a bag topper and then I did the same thing in the smaller size with the paper. And here's the back side. So those are my two bow toppers. I threw in a Mr. Peppermint from My Crafting World, Anna. And I think I had shown this on Instagram, but I don't remember if I showed this one or the different color. But I really love this dye. I, I was on the fence for a little bit and then I kept seeing people make things. And I'm like, oh, I have to get it. I also did make a pokey tool and I put it inside the KF craft pen holder. So I'll take the pokey tool out and here is the pokey tool. And I laid some charms, uh, hung some charms from the end of it. So I think it turned out pretty cute. And like I said, it will go right inside of this bag. So I'll leave that one to the side as well. Um, and then I have a miscellaneous box. So I saw a video from Carol Herlock, and she had these bag, candy bags from We Are Memory Keepers. And of course I had to go out and get it. So I will, if you can see inside the box, they're not tied there's nothing inside of them so what i'll do is i'll take some ribbon before i package this to send this out and i will send it the inside of the box is also lined with paper um just so it makes things a little interesting i think the inside is lined with another kind of snowflake one and then 
I saw this because this is a stocking stash and you know there are things that I have bought in the past that I never have used and I wanted to use this is one of them and it's probably become one of my favorite die sets so this is from pixie dust designs and it's the perfume bottle case I believe and the perfume bottle so you can open this up just like this and what I did is I lined the inside with also with paper to make it look really cool. So if an inside, Anna from My Crafting World Designs sent a free gift of poinsettias. So I used those dies to make poinsettias and I stuck it in the middle. And then I'll show you one of the perfume bottles. So as you can see, I think this is gorgeous. And you can open the bottom of this. I mean, you could seal it if you wanted to as well. But I decided to send some shaker bits. Now, normally people make a huge um, shaker, but you can see these are like, they look like little diamonds in here, like almost mica. And then this is actually a little shaker mix and it has little snowflakes inside and balls and beads. So I had two different, um, or four total because there's two in each of the perfume bottles. And I figured that I would send them this way because the person who gets this, they can use it and make their own mix because maybe they don't like the colors that I used. So I thought that would be great. So I think this box is absolutely gorgeous and you just fold it. I don't think I've said it before, but I'm kind of a simple crafter, clean and simple. Like a lot of people put a lot of embellishments on top and do all kinds of crazy stuff. But I thought that this paper just spoke for itself and I don't think it needs much of anything for it with it. And then I did another craft from um, my mind just went blank pixie dust designs um, this is their 3d mailbox so inside the mailbox this actually opens this is just on a pin and you can open it up and inside I stuck two bows now I mean it would be nice if I um, Great, now I can't get it out. It would be nice if I had packages a little bit better. You'll see the bow inside there. And here's a close-up one. And this is from the Greetery. And this is the big, beautiful bow. And I just love this bow. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, I have to have it. And that is the bow there. And then there's another one inside the mailbox. But of course, I'm on camera, so it won't work. So that is the one swap. So that's a lot of things. So let's see if I can put them all in frame for you. The pokey tool. We have the box here, the perfume box. I'll move this down a little bit. We have the candy box for the candy bar. And then we also have this big box that's gonna be full of, I'll probably put shred or something pretty inside of those so that way whoever gets this can put whatever they want and send it to somebody I also left the top I didn't embellish it because I figured they might want to embellish it their own way so let me just move all of this to the side really quickly so that is one swap and remember I made two so I did the exactly the same but I used a different color theme so this one I used it's like a plaid with gold foil. So this is the candy bar and I really like this one a little bit better because I really love this little trim, but I didn't put it on the other one because of the paper, but I think I might go home and probably add that to it because it's really pretty. Here are the bows really quick, the bag toppers. And the bottle, mini bottle. Okay, and I have a new set of penguins. Their eyes are in it like a different, they're looking up and I think they are adorable. 
I did a Mr. Peppermint in a blue and gold theme this time. And I have a Poke Toll. The same. And it's blue and gold this time. I have the perfume bottle. And again, there are sequins inside, and I lined the inside of this. So I'll put this right here. We have another 3D mailbox. And there's bows inside of this one. And look at that. I was able to get them both out of this one, which is great. So here's the two different bows that I made from the greetery in the different color way. And then finally, I made another big box. I ran out of, of this paper, so I figured I'd put another plaid on there, but then I ended up going and buying a whole new paper pad because I love this paper so much. But I had already made this and it took you know some time to make, so I wasn't going to make it again. So that is my stocking staff swap. I'm going to be packaging this up and sending it in the mail very soon. And I have another two swaps that I'm going to share a video with. Remember, work hard, be humble, and be kind to everybody. Thanks, and have a great day.